Did you know that heat soaking can help you prevent the glass from spontaneously breaking? That's right, just spontaneously breaking for no apparent reason. Well, if you're in the glass industry, I'm sure you've heard by now about spontaneous glass breakage. But if you're not, don't worry, I'm going to give you the quick rundown. During the production of glass, we can get different types of inclusions. But the most discussed is the nickel sulfide stone, which can form if there's nickel contamination. And that's where our troubles begin. Because these pieces are so small, there's practically no way to detect them. A piece now gets cut, fabbed, tempered, and installed. And then suddenly, a little while later, boom, it breaks without notice. Well, it's often that the inclusion's fault. As the glass piece heats up and cools down throughout the day, it does expand and contract. Unfortunately, that little guy does too but not at the same rate as the piece of glass. And that's where we have a problem. The good news is we can definitely tell if that's what happened to a piece of glass, as long as it's still together. All we have to do is look for the little butterfly, like these. The bad news is that it's already happened, but fear not, we have a preventative process. So back to heat zone. Heat soaking is the process of putting the glass through a cycle, much like an ordinary day, so that it heats up and cools down over an extended period of time. And we do this in an attempt to create that expansion and contraction of the piece of glass to see if it breaks. If it doesn't break, then we should be clear of all inclusions. If it does break, well, at least they broke in the shop, but they can just make you another one before they go out to the job. And this process can be applied to practically any piece of tempered glass. Mind you, it is extra, so it's obviously done for a fee. But depending on the size and the complexity of your project, it's often a really good idea. To learn more about class, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.